behavior language. People have talked about simulation theory and us maybe being controlled by aliens and people also say there's a flat earth and people say that, you know, we're in a video game. But from a neuroscience perspective in the year 2020 now, and knowing the different parts of the brain and the creativity and the imagination and survival instincts with the body and the mind and brain working together to get out of frightful situations, scariness, you know, consciousness for some people being scary. And the two start to get tricky because the aliens controlling all of, you know, what people describe as flat earth once in a while also has to do with my behavior and gesture now going down and then up. There's been too much research completed. There's been too many experiments done on dead rats and dead monkeys and dead humans. To not get cold hands, itchy feet, and to lose consciousness, maybe forever, maybe for infinity, eternity, maybe for all of the rest of time. There's enough data, there's enough information to cause a simulation with these psychiatric conditions and these psychological requirements on everybody, everywhere, all the time to cause consciousness, to do consciousness, to make sure there's consciousness, to make sure that people are consciously aware, to make sure there's consciousness attention being paid in dollars, cents, pennies, and lives. People just didn't have slaves in the year 1776. Out of hatred. People didn't have technological devices to learn about psychology and psychiatry and politics and innovation and build supercomputers with artificial intelligence who can eventually simulate what might occur with certain conditions in place socially, with certain conditions in place psychologically and psychiatrically, medications available, what people are gonna do, what they're gonna wanna buy, where they're going to need to go and when they're going to go to where they're going. People in 70, 1776 joined the United States Army to make a better world. They fought, they died. They suffered like the slaves that were made out of stupidity. But their courage and their honor and their sacrifice were to make progress with the goal of freedom, 
with the goal of love, with the goal of hope. But going out into the woods like the man did in Alaska and just saying they're suicidal because nobody wants to just say we all need to join together and just get everyone to do stuff that doesn't bother anyone else and get rid of you know racism get rid of the poverty get rid of the starving and the suffering and when there were no other options or choices the young man went out and died as a martyr and now consciously I see the same thinking and I see the same thought processes and systems eventually going to eliminate consciousness and replace freedom with perfection no crime less crime maybe no starving maybe light starving people just hungry because they can't find food on the run because they don't really go to the grocery store anymore. And plenty of travel destinations where people can go be tribal. Swallow some ayahuasca in a jungle and come back ready for more. There's no shame in fast food. There's no shame in taking a girl to a movie because you want to have fun. There's no shame in saying you're racist because you live in the middle of the gosh darn heck woods. But there is disrespect and there is pure nastiness and horribleness with the belief and the suffocation happening in the world from no spontaneity, from no magical fluidity no stars nobody wearing stripes with no other reason than they thought it'd be fun women who are men men who are women transgender a thousand letters describing gay, lesbian, bisexual, blah, 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 blah. And the gold standard of legalized drugs. In place of spaceships, moon bases, Mars, excursions experiments and science projects in faraway galaxies the cost and the risk to go to a faraway place and see finally consciousness and spontaneity and freedom
with a return journey to planet Earth. Describes simulation theory. And what would occur with those people who go out and say, whoa, y'all, hey, that's a lot of reward system stuff. Do you guys ever talk to each other like we did on Mars? Do you ever go down to the next door over on, you know, the street over like we did on the moon and say like, you guys want a party tonight or what? You know, like, uh, let's get some food and, you know, Let's eat marshmallows over the uh, lighter. These people would cause revolution. These people would ca cause massive disruption. Just like a person like me right now. But the goal that's being described in this brilliant beauty being created on earth and in this world now are worth it, I guess.